All right. Okay, let's see. What are we doing? We're starting on PS2. Uh, I don't know who struck what. They just kind of did it all on the same tablet. Um, so PS2, uh, widest legal stage. Uh, so a lot of space to kind of like, you know, build up where you want to come in. You don't got to be too pressured and stuff like that. Oh my god! Was that down? Th that was down throw down air? That had to be a read. I'm gonna just look at the replay real quick. That was that was nuts. Th I, that had to not be true. Anyway, Sean taking a ridiculously first, ridiculously quick first stock, but you know at 130, so you know Zane not too far behind. See what they can do uh, to even up the stocks. You know Falcon can build some damage. Very terrifying character. Oh my God, goes tries to go for it again. This has to be like maybe it's a rage thing. And then he's a DI read. Is it a DI read? I don't believe Falcon had... Like, Falcon is a character that, like, you know, he forces you into these scary situations. But, like, none of his stuff is, like, true for, like, the kill. It's, like, nice air dodge, dummy, nice roll, stupid, you know. So, I'm, I'm really inclined to believe that that was, like, just... That was just a crazy reset that, you know, you read the DI and then you just read, uh, you know, what they're going to press or not press. That's the other thing, right? 50-50. Okay. Oh, my God. Almost got dare forward air. I kind of actually missed how uh, Sean died. Um, actually, let me just take a play. Hopefully, I don't know what that. Oh, okay. Yeah, really great. Uh, did a ledge jump into air dodge. Zane covering that whole range with the can. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, even percents. We got an edge guard situation from Zane, uh, maintaining advantage, keeping on. I like that, covering the roll with the uh, standing there and having the can to kind of punish. But you know, kind of, kind of got by, uh, misread on how he was going to recover. Uh, still, Zane kind of in control, uh, holding center, doing, got, getting great catches with the can. Dude. Ooh, the gunman almost finishing off uh, Sean. All right, so now we're in a last hit scenario for both of these players on this stock. And the last hit goes to Zane, now taking the lead. Albeit not by much, but let's see what they can do with it. Uh, these, you know, every character in this game always has like a crazy like way to build a lot of damage. But if you do normal get up again, uh, when Falcon is literally standing there, you will get Falcon dive. Uh, point blank. And it actually killed because the percent was high enough. Uh, you know, Duckman was at literally 150. Alright, so last stocks, both of them. Pretty much even percent. Super microscopic lead for Zane right now. Oh, this could be big damage. Oi. 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 All right, we're gonna enter last stop. We're in last hit. This is gonna be really scary. Zane kind of keeping some of the good pressure, maintaining center. Let's see, gets back into it, but nope. Lingering there doesn't hit, but doesn't get punished for it. Oh my God, Sean is just looking for kills. Uh, uh. Ooh, and do we have a poke? We do. Okay, so Zane takes game one. That could be a uh, really good. For them. So Zane's bands were Smashville and FD, and so Sean's counter pick will be Kalos. Okay. Yeah, I mean, pretty standard counter pick by Falcon. You don't really. Uh, what is it? I've heard a lot in the grapevine that like you don't want Falcon to go to uh, Kalos. You know, has battlefield blast zones, and uh, he's heavy. So Battle Soul Blast Zones will make him last, uh, live pretty long. Also, he because it's a pillar stage, he gains uh, that, a wall bounce. So it give, gives him an extra dimension of uh, mix-up for recoveries or setups. You know, Falcon is just a setup character. Uh, oh, my God. All right, so Sean uh, trying to set a new record. Uh, the first stock in the first game, 
wasn't enough. The down throw down air. Percent, his own percent too high. He had to kill uh, Zane now only at 9%. But ever since Zane has come back on the second stock, Sean has not landed a single hit. And uh, Zane is landing massive damage. Keeping Sunner. Oops, scary. Ooh, okay, yeah, the can being over there, not enough like time for setup. Falcon kind of just hanging around in the, the burst range. Can't react. Oh, God. Man, all of those up airs, Jesus. Look at, yeah, he's just going for so many uh, wall bounces because now they're there. I wanna, I'm want i curious if maybe Zane will get a read on it, if there's anything that they can do about it. But regardless, Zane going to finally land a back air and seal out the first stock. So now even stocks, but taking 100 damage in, uh, along the way. All right, trading uh, dash deck with back air. Have you ever thought about the animation of how his back air, of Falcon back air looks? Do, like, if you try and do it, do you feel like any, like, actual force or power from that sort of a swing? I feel like it really wouldn't, you know? I feel like it's a weak-looking move, but we all know it's not. Anyway, uh... Zane at a much higher percent, but like at this point, like okay, yeah, point blank, uh, Falcon Kick is gonna do that. All right, Sean again with a stock lead here. <laughs> I'm not swinging hard. It just doesn't. Okay, anyway, doesn't doesn't look like it, like dislocate your shoulder before you actually get enough power. Anyway, Sean at 173 with a stock lead, but you know, knocking on death's door right here. Uh, let's see what Zane can do to clinch this stock without taking too much percent, and we're getting a lot of damage, but can comes out frame one. And uh, if you're not perfect, then yeah, you're gonna get a trade, and Sean loses his second stock. So now, we're actually, this is a bit of a repeat of the second stock. Uh, Sean's at zero. Zane's at 90-ish. And, uh, yeah. So, what kind of adjustment can Zane make to kind of not take too much more damage? Oh, God. No! That's not how you want to see it. All right. So, Sean going to be taking game two. Getting rid of FD in town. I really find it funny when uh, players ban the same stage as their opponent. Like, I mean, I guess for, for in Sean's case, Zane does play multiple characters, so if you're watching out for another character that they play. But, like, I don't know. Remember what your opponent's bans were. Uh, Zane opting for small battlefield. Start the battle. Captain yeah. That thing is a... Is a uh, thing is a vacuum. All right. Entering game three. Small battlefield. This is Zane's counter pick. And once again, Sean's bands were FD and Town and City. And just to remind what I reiterate, uh, Zane's bands after game one were FD and Smash Rail, so it's just like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, going to small battlefield. Already getting some uh, okay damage on Sean. 60, you know, he's kind of heavy, so, like, you need to get a little bit more to make it a little bit more menacing. And is doing just that, getting to 80. Now we're in, like, a pretty solid position. You know, maybe we can try and start looking for sealing out a kill or an offstage situation where you can kind of get a, an edge guard or something. You know, really able to push advantage. Uh, Sean not able to, like, run around too much. The small battlefield, very tight stage. And, yeah, reads the jump and gets a clean back air. Zane only taking 22%. This is looking very good for Zane. By the way, on deck is going to be Dill versus Slingshot. Oh, boy. Anyway. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Man, what a, what a weird scramble. Anyway, so... Ever since Sean lost, uh, lost his first stock, has been, has been able to build a decent amount of damage on Zane. 
And now Zayn is finally getting a shot of building some damage on Sean. Now we have like a full stock lead. This is where you want to be. This is how you want to do. You want to, you know, go for trades if you can. Other than like, you know, clean hits, of course. But uh, yeah, so if uh, Zayn really wants to have like a, a super solid lead, you'd want to take that stock first because, you know, Falcon, lots of pressure. But maybe we're going to get some extra hits. Uh, can, can Zayn finish the stock here without taking any damage to maintain uh, this strong lead? Wow, interrupting the uh, the Falcon dive with the side B. Ooh, the gunman going to finish on off. Now an even greater lead by Zayn. Before it was a full stock lead at 22, only taking 22, and then now only taking 8 on the second stock. What, Sean now kind of in the driver's seat, getting uh, in, in some good advantage. Whoa, that down air could have probably spelled some pretty big damage uh, on Zane. All right, back to even percents, but this is what you want, especially when you have like frame one can, like you're just gonna go for trades. Like now you have a stock that you can kind of be a little bit more belligerent and uh, you know, be like, hey, uh, yeah, sure, fine. I won't give you big hits, but if you get any hits, we're gonna trade. You're gonna take more damage, and then by the time, if I, even if you do take this stock, you're gonna be uh, back against the wall when I come back. Ooh, and nice. See a little pop off from Zane. Very good play. Yeah, let's see that again. So air dodges. Ah, traps the air dodge. Yeah, I, I guess it's like a really good situation to just cover, right? Like you just do the route, you do the motion, and like you can cover it there. You know, uh, if they air dodge, you're dead, buddy. If they don't, okay, whatever. Uh, you retreat back. You have your ledge pressure. You have all your coverage. Ooh, yeah. So yeah. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. That that, that extra deep uh, edge guard. Sean definitely was trying to make sure that it was. Uh, as even as possible. Here's where the gunman uh, finishes him off. Freeze. I don't know. I don't know what to. What does what does the what does the cowboy say? Someone tell me. 